Hello, Fat Grandma here. If this is your first time, my name is Paula. I have a small eBay store. This is not normally how I do my videos, but it's very dark in my room right now because I still have foam board in the windows and the lighting is horrible. So this time I am just going to show you guys images of what sold while I'm talking about the item. Right now you are probably seeing a screen with just thumbnail images of everything that sold over the past four weeks. It has been exactly four weeks since I did a solds video. So I'm going to jump right into it. The first item I sold came from my mom's uh, room full of stuff that I've been selling items from. It was a lot of four vintage 1995 Coca-Cola Polar Bear ceramic figurines. They were UNESCO and they were the winter games. Those sold for $15.20 and shipping paid by the buyer was $7.24. The next item I sold was a Briar Guarantee carved buck metal lid, metal lid tobacco pipe, long branch stem, it's vintage. Um, I did pay up for this, I paid $13 for it. It's worth more than it sold for but I got an offer and I just wanted to get rid of it because I'm as you all know I'm moving so it sold for $22.61 and shipping paid was $6.15. I'm just glad I made some money on it. Next item I sold again this is from my mom's stuff was an M&M candy dispenser red white and blue motorcycle with sidecar uh, vintage sold for $15.19 Shipping paid was $9.31. The next item I sold was a Carl Forsland vintage hand carved solid wooden quail figurine slash decoy. It was on a wood base. I paid $5 for this at an estate sale and it sold for $33.25. Shipping paid was $10.02. The next item I sold also from an estate sale was a three-footed metal pot planter cauldron, five inches by six inches, modeled shades of rust is what I put in the item title. I paid $1.50 for this and it sold for $10. Shipping paid was $7.79. The next item I sold, picked this up at, I believe the Salvation Army for $1.50. Vintage James Sadler, the old pottery teapot and lid made in England sold for ten dollars shipping paid was 10.69 the next item i sold from my mom's stash was an m m candy dispenser new in box collectors police vehicle cop car and i put box damage on top in the listing in the title sold for twenty dollars shipping paid was 7.44 the next item i sold and i picked this up at an estate sale Paid $6 for it was a Blue Violets Unicat Bolshewak, and I'm probably saying that wrong, Polish Art Pottery Round Egg Plate with Handle. It was 9 inches in diameter. Uh, paid $6 for it again. I sold for $23.38. I think I sent them an offer. And shipping paid was $12.35. The next item I sold was a hand-painted Mardi Gras Jester hanging wall mask, five inches, it was from Italy. I paid $1.50 for this at an estate sale and it sold for $10. Shipping paid was $6.07. The next item I sold was another Unicat item from the same estate sale, handmade WR, and I'm gonna say it wrong again, Bolshewak, Polish, Polish pottery floral four and a half inch lidded bowl. I paid $3 for it, it sold for 12 and they paid $8.43 in shipping. The next item I sold was a Sadler, the Battle of Tra Trafalgar, I'm butchering words here, uh, 1805 teapot from England, had a small chip inside the lid, uh, paid $1.50 at Salvation Army, sold it for $10, and shipping paid was $9.70. The next item I sold was a lot of 12 Hot Wheels, 1990s Corvettes and collectibles. There were five short cards in the bunch. Uh, sold those for, 50, this is again from my mom's stuff. Sold those for $15 and the shipping paid was 8 dollars 
The next item I sold was a Mardi Gras lady with feathers, collectible ceramic mask, wall decor, purple. This is, this is, when I read you the things that I'm reading you, it's just, that's what the listing title was. Seven inches. I paid $4.50 for her. She sold for $12.07 and shipping paid was $6.45. And I believe that I also picked her up at an estate sale. Next one was a lot of five Hallmark Keepsake Star Trek ornaments, three with a light feature. Again, these were from my mom's stuff. Uh, she, let's see, they paid $21.09 for those and $9.70 in shipping. Next item, again from Salvation Army, was a Sadler Classic Collection London Heritage Teapot Horse Guard from England. Paid $1.50 for it. It sold for $12 and shipping paid was $7.33. I have been running massive sales, so if some of the prices seem low, it's because I've knocked prices down. And I'm sending out offers almost every day. So next item I sold, I got this at an estate sale, paid up for it. Uh, folding Buddhist triptych carved resin three panel travel prayer shrine. It's vintage. Uh, it was about six and a half inches tall. I paid $15 for it. Sold it for $31.09. And shipping paid was $8.43. The next item I sold from my mom's stuff was an M&M's Wild Thing Roller Coaster Candy Dispenser Limited Edition New In Box 2002. They paid $11.53 for this item and $10.66 in shipping. The next item I sold was a vintage Chinese reverse hand-painted boats, villages, boats and villages snuff bottle with an amber cap and it was signed. Uh, I paid $3 for it at an estate sale and it sold for $23.38. Shipping paid was $7.10. The next item I sold, this was a lot of four Disney Marvel Blu-ray movies. It was Doctor Strange, Fantasia, Guardians of the Galaxy, Version 2, and The Sorcerer's Apprentice. I paid $4 for these, a dollar piece at an estate sale. It was a big mistake. It took forever to sell them and they sold for $8.87. <laughs> Shipping paid was $6.38. Next item I sold was a pair of 1930s L.E. Smith black amethyst glass trophy vase with a snake dance on them. They were about seven inches high, I think, maybe seven and a half. Um, anyway, I paid $7 for them and they only sold for $12.79 and $7.76 shipping. I got an offer, I had sent out an offer. I, anyway, I got an offer on it and I just took it. I've had them for several months, so I was ready to get rid of them. The next item I sold was a resting dairy cow lidded black and white sugar bowl. It was five and a half inches long. And uh, I have had this in my store for close to two years. It finally sold for $8.43 and shipping was $10.69. The next item I sold, and this I've also had in my store for a while, was a lady head scarf with beads, wall decor, nine and a half inch, elegant hanging, vintage porcelain ceramic. That's exactly how I had it listed. Anyway, she finally sold for $8.43 and shipping paid was also $8.43, which is weird. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Next item I sold. This was really cute. I thought it would do better. I did okay, but I thought it would do better. It was a Pier 1 striped witch's shoe tea light candle holder. Black, purple, orange, green. It was vintage. I paid $3.75 for it. It sold for $10 and $8.43 shipping. The next item I sold was a black set of three black cat figurines. Zen yoga meditation poses four inches tall resin set and they were new without tags. I got these at the um, 99 cent only store before they closed, way before they closed. I bought these probably six months before they closed so I paid regular price for them and they were not a dollar a piece but anyway they finally sold for eight dollars and 43 cents and shipping was 7.66. They were cute. Next item I sold was a mottled green metal Coca Pelli freestanding 9.5 inches tall Southwest indoor outdoor decor. I paid $5 for this at an estate sale and I sold it for 12 and 
they paid ten o two in shipping. The next item I sold, this has been listed for well over a year, probably close to two years, was a cranberry ruby red cut glass swirl sawtooth rim bowl. It was vintage. Uh, it was about eight and three eighths inch in diameter. It was it was reasonably sized. Um, I paid five dollars for it. Sold for fourteen, and shipping paid was eight sixty nine. Next item I sold was a Royal Dalton carnation nine inch trumpet vase, platinum trim from England. It was nineteen eighty two, so vintage. Uh, I'm not sure what I paid for this. Anyway, it sold for sixteen ninety nine. And shipping paid was twelve thirty-five. The next item I sold was a lot of five vintage Coca-Cola die-cast collectible vehicles, all new in box. These came from my mom's stash of stuff. Those sold for thirty-one oh eight, and shipping paid was twelve eighty-two. The next item I sold was two fairy garden resin houses. One was a pumpkin, one was an acorn, uh, four inches. I picked these up also at the 99 cent only store long before it closed. I think this was last fall that I picked these up. Paid $1.49 each for them and they sold for $7.48. Shipping paid was $8.43. The next item came from my mom's stuff. was an M&M's 2015 collectible limited edition red Santa with mistletoe character dispenser. He sold for $13.33. Shipping paid was $8.43. Next item is a Lennox 2010 A Year to Remember tree shaped Christmas ornament. I picked these up, I picked up a few Lennox ornaments at an estate sale. I paid $3 for this one, and the buyer paid $10.65 and $6.32 in shipping. The next item I sold, and these are from my mom's stuff, was a two pack of the Chevron cars. They were a smaller version of the Chevron cars and I have two sets of colors. One are purple and pink, I think, and I sold a, pet, a set of green and yellow for $7.99 and shipping paid was $7.33. Next item I sold, this came in an auction lot. It was just a random item that was in there in the lot was a United States Navy Chrome Auto Emblem Electroplate made in USA. It was brand new, sold for $7.48, and shipping was $5.68. The next three items sold to the same customer. One was a, uh, these are all Franklin Mint. One was a Carousel Tiger figurine. Um, these were all also from 1988, and they paid, I paid $3 each for these. Carousel tiger, tiger Figurine, the Carousel Jumper Horse Figurine, and a Carousel Lion Figurine. They paid a total of $28.92 for the three ornaments, and they paid $20.30 in shipping. I did refund some on the shipping, but I don't know exactly how much I refunded, so I'm not sure about that, but... You know, I paid $9 total for them and sold them for $28.92, so that wasn't too bad. The next item I sold, and this is another item that came from my mom's stash, was a Gaziani Women's Fitted Tee 2001 World Series Diamondbacks Glitter. It was an XL, but it was, it was small. Uh, it did not look like an XL, but it was fitted, so... But I put notes in there. Um, they paid $10.79 for the shirt and $5.87 in shipping. The next item I sold was a vintage hammered copper bowl, hand-painted flowers, nine and a half inches in diameter. I paid $5 for this at an estate sale, I believe. It could have been an estate sale or an auction. Sold for $13.33 and shipping was $7.02. The next item I sold was a white ceramic T-Rex bust coin piggy bank lila and jack seven and a half inches tall from 2020 uh, i picked this up at Dee Dee's discounts i believe and i paid 3.99 for it like a year ago i think anyway it sold for ten dollars and fifty cents shipping was 10.69 i thought it was cute took a while though a long while for it to sell next item i sold was a lot of five miniature ceramic pitchers they were anywhere from two inches to two and a half inches tall. 
from different places. I just bundled them all together. I have no idea where they came from. I do not remember. Sold them for $7.98 and shipping paid was $10.02. The next item I sold was a Cow Parade 2004 Tropical Cow Figurine. She was number 7703. I paid $4.50 for her. She sold for $11.31 and shipping paid was $8.43. The next item I sold was a Lennox Holiday Home Table Christmas Ornament, original in the box. Paid $5 for it and sold it for $15 and the buyer paid $7.23 in shipping. The next item I sold was an Imperial Glass Decanter with Stopper ice blue opalescent grapes design it was 12 inches tall and it was marked i paid nine dollars for this i thought it would sell for more but i got an offer and i wanted to get rid of it so i ended up letting it go for 18.74 shipping paid was 11.34 the next item i sold was a fall harvest ramekins figural lidded 10 ounce set of temptations by tara these were really cute. They were brand new in the original box. I did not ship them in the original box because it was less expensive for the buyer for me to take them out and pack them because there was a ton of styrofoam. It made the box a lot bigger. So anyway, I paid $14 for these. I did not make any money on this, but at least I got rid of them. They sold for $17.50. And uh, $12.98 in shipping. I I thought they would do better than that because they were brand new, but at least I made my money back, so I'm, I'm okay. And it's more than I would make at the flea market, so I'm fine. The next item I sold was a vintage carved wood framed footed ceramic yellow floral tile trivet. It was seven inches square, paid $1.50 for it at a, I think it was an estate sale, sold it for $8.54, and shipping was $7.26. The next item I sold, and I believe I picked this up at Salvation Army for $1.50, was a six-pack wooden rustic bottle caddy with a bottle opener. And I put picnic or party at the end of the, the name of the item. Anyway, again, I, I paid $1.50, I sold it for eight, and shipping was $7.14. The next item I, I sold was a pair of two rare vintage Arthur Court Bunny with Ivy rabbit place card holders. I had no idea what these were when I picked them up. I paid a dollar for both of them at a yard sale. They sold for $11.48 and shipping was $6.93. Uh, she had a whole bunch of them and I should have bought them all, but I didn't know what they were. So I just took two. They were 50 cents a piece and you know, they they were worth more than I expected them to be. So if you see these anywhere, grab them if they're cheap. <laughs> I don't think she knew what she had either. The next item I sold was a wine glass, two, it was two wine glass signs or plaques, wood compos composite and metal leaves, wall decor, 10 inches tall. The buyer paid seven, I think I paid a dollar for these at a yard sale. Buyer paid $7.74 and shipping was $6.32. The next item I sold with the next two items were the same buyer. Uh, one was a Yankee candle, three deer votive candle holder, oil rub bronze finish. It was six inches tall. They were really cute. Paid $3 for that. And then the other item was a Christmas moose sculpture, candle holder, metal and ceramic bobblehead from Pier 1. It was 17 inches tall. This was obnoxious to pack. Uh, I paid $3.75 for that. So I've got $6.75 in these two items. The buyer paid $23.29 for both of them and $15.27 in shipping. I may have refunded some something on the shipping, but I'm not sure. I probably did. I don't remember. Anyway, next item I sold. I've had this for a while too. I got it at an auction. I do not remember what I paid, but I've had it for a while. A Royal Bond antique hand-painted floral double-handled vase, 10 inches tall. Again, I, I may have paid $10 for this at the auction. Sold it for $24.08 and $14.36 in shipping. I'm just glad it's gone. 
The next item I sold was a porcelain bulb bud vase, Royal Vienna, Austria, antique gold filigree floral, four inches. This was not very big. I have had this thing in my store for two years, easily. Um, almost since I first started reselling and I found the auction because that's where this came from. It was in with a bunch of other stuff. I probably paid a dollar for it. It finally sold for $23.59 and shipping paid was $7.26. Next item I sold, these were from my mom's stuff, was a set of vintage Santa's Best Santakins posable elf and Santa ornaments in stockings. Uh, they each had their own stocking. They both sold for $10.93 and shipping paid was $7.33. Next item I sold. This was huge, and I don't know what I, I bought it in the auction, and I don't know what I was thinking. I paid nine fifty for it, with tax and stuff. It was a Mervyn's two thousand six Village Square Collection Fiber Optics Lights Chapel. I, I included a video of it working. This thing was gigantic. I paid nine fifty again, and I sold it for twenty two twenty, and shipping paid was fourteen sixty five. I thought it would sell for more than that because it was unique and there aren't any out there, but I was ready to let it go. It's out of here. It was The box was gigantic. The next item I sold was a blue and white floral leaves hand-painted bowl plant or planter, eight inches in diameter. I paid a dollar for it at an estate sale. I sold it for $8.76 and shipping paid was $11.34. Next item I sold was a Diamondbacks World Series Champs 2001 Budweiser two-sided hanging vinyl banner. It was 58 inches long. I thought that this thing would do much better than it did. It took a while for me to sell. This came from my mom's stuff. This, van this banner would have been used at the event, at the World Championships. Um, Anyway, it was in brand new condition. I don't think it was ever used. It was just like a spare item that was laying around. My brother used to work for the company, and I think that's how she got it. Anyway, it sold for $26.34, and the buyer paid $10.95 in shipping. Next item I sold was two MCM Siesta Wear Tiki Bar mugs, pastel pink and teal, wood handles with a caddy. Now, this caddy did not go with these mugs, but... They were purchased, I bought them together at an estate sale for $5 for the two mugs and the caddy. So I just sold them that way. And some, I, again, I paid five. Uh, the buyer paid $12.29 and shipping was $11.34. They were on sale, so. Uh, next item I sold was a vintage Govancraft Scotland Highland, Highland Wear Thistle Jug Pitcher and a Double Vase. I paid $7.50 for these at an estate sale, and they sold for $23.75, and the buyer paid $9.31 in shipping. The next item, we're almost done. Next item I sold were two blue and white porcelain ginger, ginger jars. Uh, they had lotuses on them, floral, gold trim, Japan, five and a half inches tall. I have had these listed for well over a year. I paid $2.25 a piece for them, and or maybe that was for both of them, $2.25. Anyway, they finally sold for $17.64, and shipping was $7.31. The next item I sold, I got these for about $3, two or $3 at, in an, at an estate sale, or no, auction. Got these at the auction. They were uh, peach or pink glass lotus flower salt cellars, open salt, set of four. They sold for $16.39 very quickly and $7.09 in shipping. I, I only had them listed a couple of days. And same with the Siesta Wear Tiki mugs. Those were only listed for a couple of days. Next item I sold was a blue Mardi Gras, or yeah, jester mask, hand painted, made in Italy, wall mount. Paid $4.50 for it at an estate sale, sold it for $8.56, and shipping was $7.66. The last item was an Arizona Diamondbacks 2001 World Series collectible mini baseball bat. It was 18 inches long. This came from my mom's stuff. Sold for, they sent me an offer for, I can't even remember, I think $5, and I was like, no. 
it's a good thing I didn't take five for it. So they paid the full price of eight forty six, and they only paid five ninety five for the shipping. And the shipping ended up costing me ten dollars and something. I can't even. I don't know what happened with the shipping on that, but it was way over what I expected it to be. So I pretty much broke even with my cost on that because I had to buy a tube for it. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad I didn't give them, I'm glad I didn't accept their offer. Anyway, my total sales, and this is ballparking, I'm just ballparking everything. Total sales were about 1500 for the four weeks. My cost of goods were about 225 uh, shipping that I paid to Pirate Ship was $438. My eBay fees were $230. And so my net was right around $612. I'm going to say $600 just, you know, because that's even. Anyway, so that means about $150 net per week. Now, that's not including gas. So, but I did figure um, bubble wrap and boxes and things into my cost of goods. So, you know, still, I, I have to drive places anyway, and I usually go to the post office um, on my way to somewhere else. So it's, you know, I, I don't really count the gas until it gets to my taxes. Anyway, that is it for my solds. I appreciate you guys being so patient. And um, I don't know if you're going to see another solds video before I move. So this might be the last one for a while because my store is going to be closed at the end of this month and I will not be I will not likely be reopening it until January so uh, this could be the last solds but I will do ride with me's and update you guys on what's going on so I hope you have a great weekend thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I will see you guys soon bye